Video that will make you gasp. A motorcyclist in Clearwater races through a red light and almost gets taken out by a waiting car. And how about these guys who think the red light is optional? It is an issue police see all the time. Problem is, if a rider takes off, most cops are stuck because chasing them down would easily cause a wreck. And Peter Bernard is live on the night beat on the Courtney Campbell Causeway because, Peter, this area where you are is a real hot spot for freewheeling speeders. Yeah, we all drive on this Courtney Campbell Causeway, a blustery Courtney Campbell Causeway tonight, and we've seen those bikers out there that are ignoring the speed limit and the others that think that the stoplights out here aren't meant for them. At the intersection of Chestnut and Fort Harrison in Clearwater, count how many seconds the light is red. Five, six, seven. Then, like a bolt of lightning, a motorcycle races through. The red light cameras flash. Did you miss it? Watch again. Red light. A streak flashes and gone. It, it happens, unfortunately, quite often, yes, here. If Sergeant Wanos had been watching this intersection and saw this violation, he tells me he'd activate his lights and try to stop him, but wouldn't get involved in a chase. He could have plowed into that car. He could have plowed into that car. Could have been two fatalities. He definitely would have probably died. At Cycle Springs Power Sports in Clearwater, I showed the video to the general sales manager, along with this one, showing a group of bikers ignore the red light and force through an intersection like they own the road. The next person that's driving down the road that witnesses something like that and sees a biker who's acting responsibly uh, immediately thinks that that biker is in the same class as the biker who is speeding and running red lights. At Cycle Springs, employees try to impress the importance of rider safety. If you want to go race, there's drag strips down in Brady. But if you're going to represent the community that uh, I work in and participate in, then you should definitely ride responsibly. Too often, bike accidents end like this when bikers act like this. Anybody in their path, unfortunately. I mean, those things are unguided missiles at that point in time. A guided missile. I want to point out most riders follow the law and are very respectful. Irresponsible ones have a unique plan. Sometimes they try to evade the red light cameras by somehow covering up their license plate. I've never heard that before, but a warning, a ticket costs you 11, more than $1,100 for doing that, Keith. Well, Peter, when can an officer chase down a motorcycle rider? It has to be a violent felony. Just running the red light or speeding isn't going to cut it. But we also want to point out there's a lot of law enforcement agencies in our area that have helicopters, and they can find you. They follow them. They have to stop somewhere, don't they, Peter? Peter Bernard on the night beat. Thank you. Yep.